A very good evening to all of you. You all are the most welcome in our program, Coffee with English Guru Academy. I am your host, Anjali Vaishnav, and as we know that our Jodhpur city facing many problems like road accidents, traffic jams, and crime, etc. So, uh, the new collector of Jodhpur, Miss Neharika, is among us to counter our problems. So, put your hands together and warm welcome, Miss Neharika. <laughs> Speeds and all, and making them stay on that uh, 
uh, shelters and greeting them. We need all the things collectively, like food for them, shelter for them, taking care for them, their medi medi medicines and all that. So all these are uh, go together. And not only for the spray animals, we are also working to uh, maintain the range of the uh, domestic animals like we know that uh, in the city areas people can't have the more animals like it can create a nuisance or the disturbance to the other citizens living over there so for that uh, there is an act like the people can't have more uh, more than one pet in the crowded area in the city areas so that uh, other people are also not disturbed from that uh, all that are being done and being uh, noticed like they are properly enforced or not. Uh, so it is totally monitored under. Okay, and it's good idea that the people only kept the one animal. Okay, thank you ma'am. And my next question is, why is there a rise in water supply problems in Jodhpur? So what is regarding for this? Water supply problem, like uh, this, I would say that there is a scarcity of the problem. Jodhpur is already located in the desert area, I would say. And there is a shortage of uh, water supply. Like we have to cut down the water supply so that we can, uh, in the Jodhpur city, so that we can supply water to the other areas where there is the paucity of the water, where the people are dying because of not getting water. So uh, we have to look for a collective idea for the whole society not for the individual, that we have to look after for the social interests as well. So looking for only for the Jodhpur and only for its people, uh, I would say the, uh, we will ignore the areas which fall under the Jodhpur, like we have the Pali district. Over there, there many people are suffering due to because they don't have the water supply. So to supply the water tanks over there, we have to put put some uh, short, shortage over here so that water can be supplied over there. So, and uh, that water supply problem like uh, people are facing. I would say that the people are doing the wastage of water also and I urge people not to waste the water and not to misuse it. Like, uh, and we are continuously monitoring and uh, charging penalties to the people who are misusing all that water as water is the precious gift to us and we get water from the Indra Gandhi canal and there have been a blockage over there we have to uh, construct that uh, again so for that we needed some time so that's why all, that is also one of the reasons why there was a shortage of the water supply problem in the Jodhpur. Yes ma'am you are right that water is a precious and my, thank you so much and my next question is how is Jodhpur going to cope up with rising of traffic jams and breakage of traffic rules day by day? The people of Jodhpur, I consider them the most intelligent one. So for them, I, I request them, like uh, all the things not go on the one hand. We have to, like uh, a vehicle can't run on the one wheel, uh, one wheel. We need both the wheels so that we can ride that bike or that vehicle. So for that I would urge like as much as it's our responsibility, it is also the responsibility of citizen to follow that. And I have also noticed that the licensing problem, the people get licensed so easily without any uh, test given by them, which is the major problem why there is a break, uh, breaking of the traffic rules. And uh, making them aware, making them uh, educated about all these rules, making them more uh, advanced and new to all these things like uh, we are also trying to build up the in infrastructure so that uh, the people get more uh, opportunity more uh, uh, advancement more easy accessibility to all the roads and all and with that the police is continuously patrolling all around noticing the who is uh, doing the breaking the traffic rules and all that with we have installed the CCTV cameras over the, wherever it is needed and the CCTV cameras, those all CCTV cameras, I, I would say they are so clear in the picture quality so that we can notice their licensing plates and they can receive their e-chalan, like if they have done any penalty, we can uh, do the e-chalan and we can uh, 
uh, I would say that uh, their license can be suspended for some time for breaking the traffic rules, their bike can be taken by the police. So it will be the easy thing. So this all has been done, it's in a process and I would say that it will be implemented really soon. So you have to not worry about this. Okay ma'am, thank you. And my last and last question is, as we know that Jodhpur long known as a peaceful city, has shown its considerable rise in crime. So what steps are taken amid administration to get relief people from it? Uh, the Jodhpur is, I would say the Jodhpur is a still a peaceful city. Like uh, saying it a crime city is not a good, like there are other many metropolitan cities which face more uh, crime rate rather than Jodhpur. So I would say comparatively Jodhpur is really safer to those cities. And uh, as we know that uh, it's really sad that uh, grief moment for all of us that there were communal rights in us. Uh, Jodhpur city which I also feel really bad about it and I would say that all those were really bad and we are also monitoring all these activities like we have some sort of uh, such uh, suspects like we know that they can create some nuisance in the further future we are continuously monitoring those people those areas where all those crimes can take place so all these is being monitored and relating to the crime uh, regions like where the where the crime uh, can be uh, take place uh, the crime is uh, more uh, eventually to take place over there so we are continuously monitoring all those areas working on those areas installing cameras the police is continuously patrolling over there so that we can prevent any further crime over there okay and uh, I also got, I would say that, uh, at last, what, mes what message would you like to give Jodhpur rights? Jodhpur rights, these people, these people live in our heart. Like I would say that uh, these are the brain of our city, brain and the heart of the city. Without them, the city is nothing. So to make them, I would say that the citizen, a good citizen only leads to the development of the city, to the country, to the world at the global level. So I would say that I would request people to become more aware, to take participate, to participate in all the awareness program which being done by the government and by the administration, so that they can learn more uh, easily and grasp all the knowledge which is necessary for them to know about our all the rules. Like I would say that uh, knowing our rights is as necessary as knowing our duty. So if people don't do, our, do their duty, uh, their rights are already suspended. Like one person is not doing uh, duty, so it is already uh, compelling the other's right uh, under it. So I request you all to follow your duties, to work together. Like on the one hand, I can't go, like um, any administration, any government can't work without the bilateral support from the both sides. Thank you very much. Thank you ma'am and we all are support you and to the government and thank you so much for coming this program and giving a precious time. Thank you so much.